Where's my car gone? No, go, right. go, 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 go. So predictions, Hamilton for the championship, or do you think Ferrari can ace it? Have they got the stamina? Hello, welcome back to London. Freezing, freezing London. We're having another day using the Alpine A110. I still got the tape on the plate. I need to sort that out because the current plate's not sticking properly. And the car looks really good. Cole's back there. He's coming with me today for a very exciting day today. All right, here we go. Ugh. In we hop. Formula One is gonna be a theme for today because what are we doing? Well, we are going for actually a really exciting meeting. I've been wanting to talk to you about it for ages, but I'm having a meeting with Sky Sport to discuss potential work we could do throughout the year for their coverage with Formula One. So if you're a Formula One fan like me, Sky Sports is gonna be the place to be. There's just been winter testing, as I'm sure you guys have been following if you're F1 fans. Looks like it's gonna be a close battle. Mercedes are present, Ferrari are present, Red Bull will hopefully be very present as well. There's a bunch of new driver changes. We've got Leclerc, we've got Ricciardo. There's so much going on, and I can't wait for the first race. One thing which is a bit odd is that we're having this meeting and they've sent me a location, and from what I can see, it's not in a building. It looks like it's in a petrol station or something, and I, I don't quite understand. Usually I don't bring you along to meetings, but I figure this is such a cool one that might as well. And hopefully this could lead to some Formula One content with Sky Sports. I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in. So I wanted to start the conversation on Formula One with you guys, and maybe you can comment down below who you think is going to do well this season. I'm excited for this season. I mean, there's loads of cool stuff, isn't there? There's loads of new drivers, even new teams. I mean, Salvo's come back as Alfa Romeo Racing, haven't they? Giovinazzi, Lando Norris, Gasly up in Red Bull, Leclerc up in Ferrari, who could be rivaling uh, Vettel and potentially even Lewis. I think that is massive news. I think this season is the most exciting season in a long time, and I'm not just saying that, I genuinely believe so. Kubica coming back with an incredible story. Hopefully Williams will up their game a little bit this season. Um, I don't know, just a lot of exciting stuff coming. So if you want to talk more F1, if it's something that interests you, then do let me know. But today, first of all, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen at this meeting. We will see. But I want to get there and I want to get there quickly. <sighs> Oh, there's an entire petrol station branded up with Sky Sports. Hiya! Yeah, just go over there, dude, and I'll get you parked up. Okay, sweet. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Cheers. Hop out. Where do I go? Have I got everything I need? I'm gonna go inside, maybe I can talk to somebody. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Sky. Hello? Oh, yeah. yeah? Speak to Sky Sports? Anyone? Uh, not a clue, guys. Not a clue. Okay, can you get in there? I think I'm just gonna wait here and see what happens from here. I, I, I don't even know where Cole is. I've lost Cole. Hey, where is he? Has he seen this? No, no, no. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Hey, talking of going. Yeah. We're going to Australia. Where's my car gone? My car was parked right here. We are. I can't wait. I mean, this season's going to be great. I, I, I have no doubt about that because, you know, all the new kids coming in, the youngsters, the best prepared young drivers ever in the history of Formula One. Yeah, the cars look different and it might just be a Ferrari they're going to be rather than a Mercedes for once. I don't even have my key. Oh, no. Oh, Cole. So, where, where, where's your car, mate? It was right here. Where were you? I was just over there, mate. I thought that was you gone. No, where's my car? What's going on? Well, look, the last hundred races we've commentated on, Lewis has won 51 of them. We, we're getting used to calling Lewis as a winner, but I'm, I'm with you. It's, this is the most open season I can remember. I haven't been able to have my meeting yet. Have they just taken your car? Well, who, who's taken my car? Well, somebody's in on it. In, in many years. And, and I think it's Lewis, it's Seb. Who, who's? And it's also Max Verstappen in that yeah. mix for a title. Yeah. 
there. And Robert Kubica comes back oh. after eight years away. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, his rally crash. I mean, what a fairy tale story that is. I've, but, I've missed him in the paddock. I really have. Yeah, but I mean, what, it's a big challenge for him, isn't it? Because he's, you know, these cars are physical to drive, and he's still got carrying some of that injury. Well, he's changed his driving style completely, and he's had to do that. But his big challenge, of course, is George Russell. It, open it up, good lad. Um, his big challenge is George Russell. George Russell's big challenge is making an impression against the likes of Lando Norris, who might be in a better car uh, than him this year, and not equal cars like they were in F2. This is now a perfect road this to really take this for a spin. Tremendous, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's Ferrari from Mercedes and Red Bull after testing, but who knows? I mean, testing around Barcelona in cold weather, but. Yeah, there you go. And we've um, not even mentioned Renault, who seems to have closed the gap to the big three. Yeah. Uh, Racing Point, the were Force India, who've got a budget to close that gap as well. Alfa Romeo, who looked really good with Kimi, and uh, now leading the team. And I reckon Kimi's still, still a good shout for a podium know, this year. He's, uh, he was, he was quick, but I heard Haas uh, talking to you know people who ought to know have really got all the all the info, I heard that Haas might just be the leaders of the, of the midfield in terms of the longer runs. You're uh, not making Haas assumptions? No. <laughs> they get worse. Paul they Windsor, worse. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I don't want to get this lovely car dirty, so I thought I wouldn't head too far into the Oh, country. yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's got a bit of go, hasn't it? It certainly has. This is a proper road for the Alpine yeah. as well. I love it, this. So what else? Um, and Williams have been struggling. Oh my goodness, that's not good, is it? Uh, the great Williams team. It's a sad situation, but to me, the best thing about this year, for £10 a month, live and exclusive, Sky F1, every single race. For Formula One fans, it's never been, it's never been this easy to watch a race, because you know, every single time the cars are on the track, Sky F1 is going to be covering it, and that's not always been the case in the past. Every single race is going to be live with us, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so am I. Whenever there's an F1 car on the track at an official session, we're Will coming. It? And you're talking about it. <laughs> no, you can't remember where we came out of. Uh, no, no, I've been enjoying the chat so much. <laughs> I've got a clue. I know where we're going, how we get there. We've got to do a no left. No idea. I know we've got to do a left at some point. Um, I don't want to get in there. I don't want to get in that great big, do you know, I think it was there. I don't um, want to get in that great big queue. <laughs> <laughs> um, you Have you right. never driven one of these before? No. Never. I've never even seen one before. I feel quite high up, given that it's a very low Porsche. It's a Renault Alpine. No, it's a Porsche. It's not, it's a Renault. It's a Porsche. No, it's not. It looks like a Porsche. It might look like a Porsche, but it's not. So, predictions? Hamilton for the championship, or do you think Ferrari can ace it? Have they got the stamina? He's got the stamina to do it all year long. Look, my head says Ferrari, because they've been the fastest in testing. Yeah. But my heart has got to go with Lewis, because he's the best driver on the grid at the moment. So here's a compromise. Ferrari for the constructors, Lewis for the drivers. Okay. Yes, that's a fairly safe bet, I reckon. But I hope you're wrong. <laughs> I, hope, I hope it's a crazy year. And Boys, what happened there? You thought it was a Porsche. Martin says it's an Alpine. He was right, so he got to drive. And we took it for a bit of a spin. We like your car. Thank you. So I came out, I just went in to have a meeting and I came out and the car was gone. I didn't know it was you guys. I haven't seen one before and I've read about them and they say they're very good, so we thought we'd have a go. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, good. Oh, good. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad the car's back now. I'm happy. Still got four wheels on it. Still got four wheels. It got a bit heavy. Yeah, well, you have to. You have to enjoy it. There might be a bit of mud as well, because we have to do a bit of a reverse. Oh, don't worry about it. got sort of the end of the world, I think. Yeah? Well, listen, it's a rally car, isn't it, at the end of the day? So here we go. Well, guys, look. It looks like a Porsche, though, doesn't it? It does kind of look like a Porsche. Yeah. I've got my car back. I'm happy. <laughs> yes. Right. That was very cool. If you guys don't know, I'm, you probably do if you're watching this. You're probably an F1 fan. Martin Brundle, absolute legend in the sport, and Crofty, whose voice is probably the most recognizable voice to any of us F1 fans. Um, so being invited down here, we thought it'd be fun to do like something a little bit different than just sitting down and interviewing them about the new Sky Sports F1. Um, but we decided to do something a little bit more funny. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you see the humor in it. We're here, they're giving out free fuel today for seven hours because of seven days until the first F1 race, um, which is very, very kind of them, actually, genuinely. I'm gonna go fill my car up now. But the main gist 
of all of this is that if you're already a Sky subscriber, you can just pay 10 extra pounds and then you become, a, you have Sky Sports F1. Uh, and then you'll be able to see all the live exclusive content of the F1. I'm doing it, I'm gonna be addicted to it. I'm gonna watch every single race, try to, and also post on my Instagram updates. I wanna start a conversation with you guys about F1. Um, so let me know on Instagram, let me know in the comments down below if you're F1 friends, who you're excited to see, and we'll continue from there. Anyways, I'm gonna go get my free fuel and then head home. Cheers guys, bye bye.